Grand Travers 911, what's the address of your emergency? Hello? Since January, deputies say more than 100 911 calls like that one were made from this mobile home off of Cherrywood Drive in Kingsley. But when deputies would respond, the suspect would deny ever calling. Um, would indicate, nope, everything's good here. The deputies would make contact at other residences nearby just in case the plot wasn't correct. Um, and we're also told everything was fine. Each call was a 911 hang up and eventually deputies weren't as quick responding to his calls. So Thursday night, the suspect took it to the next level by calling and saying he was hurt. When we weren't there as quick as we had been in the past, I think that's most likely what prompted him to make statements to dispatch about I'm hurt, I need help um, so that he could get that response quicker. Deputies arrested the man and found six of the seven phones they believed he was calling from at his home. They also found a handheld police scanner that deputies believe the suspect used to listen to see how first responders were reacting to his 911 calls. Had indicated that he was drunk when he made the calls and that uh, he did indicate to officers too that he had uh, formerly or at some point in time been involved as a volunteer fireman and missed it. And neighbors who have been watching this entire story unfold are happy they don't have to deal with it anymore. I'm so glad that this is being solved. Uh, for those of us who do need 911 once in a while and, and do need medical help, it's good to know that it isn't being abused. In Grand Traverse County, Courtney Curtis, 7 and 4 News.